Hi there, it's Sunday the 28th of December, I think, and I thought I would start with those weekly vlogs I promised you and I was, um, like I wanted to start tomorrow on Monday, but I thought that I would show you something that happened overnight. Um, yeah, this happened. We got about 30 centimeters of snow, which is insane, um, and this is like the view from me and my sister's like balcony, I guess. Um, and if you haven't guessed yet, I am back home for the holidays in Slovenia. You know, I have nothing against like snow right now because I don't need to go anywhere. But the problem is I didn't even bring any proper winter clothes with me because when I was checking the forecast back in London a week ago, it said that it would be like I don't know, spring-like weather, so <laughs> I didn't even bring like a proper winter jacket with me or anything like that. I think I have some winter shoes here in the house because I didn't take them to London, but yeah, um, I don't know when I'll have to go out. I will be very underdressed, I guess. I don't really have any plans for today. I have to go out tomorrow because I have a um, an appointment with my hairstylist. Maybe I'll just go out with my dog for a few minutes and take some photos of him because he really loves snow and he does like crazy things and I might film some of it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't really have any plans for today. I think I'll be editing a video that I filmed a few days ago. Um, my, you know, update vlog that will already be up by now, but um, yeah, I don't really have anything like that special to do today, I guess. And by the way, this is my very lazy, um, chill outfit of the day. I have this top on from H&M and these leggings are from Primark, but I got them last year, not this year. My sister has the cutest hat. Where's it from? H&M. H&M. Last year? Uh -uh. Two years ago. Three years ago. <laughs> Let's go do something. So I didn't find my winter shoes, so I had to take some random ones out of the closet and I currently feel like a Bigfoot that doesn't know how to walk because they're two sizes too big and look like, I don't know, I just look like a freaking clown. Sister is trying to form a heart out of the snow and it doesn't Come seem on. to work. <laughs> oh, she's taking the gloves off. <laughs> Yay! Does it kind of look like a heart even? Yeah, it does. So cute. Benji! I would show you our Christmas tree. And then this is what most Slovenian families do on, I don't know, weekend mornings. <laughs> Watch skiing and ski jumps and all that winter sport jazz. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's Monday today and I'm currently sitting in a car waiting for my dad and my sister to come back from the doctor's office because my sister... Um, has an appointment because of her knee, she injured it. She injured her knee during um, her like basketball, either practice or game, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm waiting for them. Um, so yesterday I didn't really vlog because I haven't been doing all that much. I was just catching up on blog posts, I was watching some TV shows. Then in the evening my mom and I watched The Holiday, which is one of my favorite Christmassy movies. And then today um, I had my hair appointment, I got my roots done, which I'm extremely happy about. And now my family and I are going to my favorite like pizza place, which is about a half an hour drive from where I live. I think I stopped vlogging yesterday when we went to get pizza, um, but nothing much happened after that. I was feeling a bit down all afternoon, to be honest, just because, I don't know, I feel like everyone around me 
is like very discouraging about my situation and yeah I just didn't have the most fun day then in the evening my friend came over and we were chatting for about five hours and laughing so I was feeling uh, better then today nothing much happened uh, either I was just reading about how to write up CVs um, in the morning and I still have a lot of reading to do because um, the form is completely different from the form that we use in my country um, so yeah I've been just looking at different CVs and trying to think what I could write in mine and then a while ago I went for a walk with my mom and my dog and I took some footage of my hometown <laughs> in case you're interested like how it looks like Now we're actually going to our family friend's house because they invited us over for dinner because we haven't seen each other in a really long time. So this is what I'll be doing today and I don't think I'll be vlogging again. I really hope this vlog won't be too boring and discouraging from watching others because um, I'm just like filming my face and telling you what I did but yeah I can't really film around you know my family and friends who are not like comfortable talking in front of the camera and um, I'm like not talking in English with them um, so yeah it would just be weird I guess if I vlogged by the way I don't know if I showed you my new hair or not but um, yeah I got my roots done and this is how my hair looks like now and I really like it um, I'm already freaked out about finding a new hairdresser in London because they're really expensive there and I have some trust issues especially when it comes to my hair because I've had a couple of hairstylists before the one I currently have and uh, some of them ruined my hair so yeah I'm not really looking forward to finding a new hairstylist in London but um, if you have any recommendations for me please let me know I'm just gonna go now I think I'll be watching an episode of Courtney and Chloe take the Hamptons because I'm lame like that and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning! I still can't believe that today is the last day of 2014. It's just crazy how time flies. Totally unrelated to this, I am so, so tired right now. We came home at about 2.30 a.m. last night and I went to bed after 3 a.m. and now it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I had to wake up because my mom is taking me to the market and to the grocery store because I need to pick up some bits and pieces that I'll be taking with me to London so I just have to get ready now and go shopping for groceries yay this is the aftermath of our shopping, um, yeah, and now I need to get everything out of the bags and into the fridge, so yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> Let's give my dog his favorite treat. <laughs> Look at him. Benji! Bugs B! Bugs B! Sadie? What are you doing? Lazy? <laughs> Lazy? Good to eat. That's good. Pretty. Give me five. <laughs> <laughs> so hilarious. I'll just show you now what I'm taking with me back to England. I picked up some fruit tea. This one, well, this one is herbal tea actually. 
Uh, then I got some cranberry and raspberry tea and my favorite one which is called Granny's Finest. Some soup, I got cauliflower um, broccoli soup. Um, I got asparagus soup, kale. Is this thing called kale? Kale? No. Mm. No, leek, <laughs> not kale. Leek soup, um, mushroom soup, and then mm, this semolina dumpling soup, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called. And this one is just, well, let's see, are there any translations? Oh, it just says soup from Blit, which is um, a town in my country. <laughs> um, it's actually quite a touristy town, and if you ever visit Slovenia, make sure to visit Blit. Then I got some chicken pate. This is the only type of pate that I eat, and that's why I always like stock up whenever I see it, because it comes in very handy when you don't have to cook or have nothing in the fridge, because you just put some on bread and that's pretty much it. You either have breakfast, lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, then I bought this. Um, this is like the most amazing food on planet Earth. It's actually baby food, but it's really popular where I live and everyone eats it, like even adults and of course me as well. You just put some of this in milk and it just tastes so good. So yeah, I need to have this always. And I got this biscuits from Milka, um, they're called Choco Minis. Um, yeah, they're yummy and I just saw them so I picked them up. Um, then I got Vegeta, which is um, some kind of a food, not like, well, a mix of, I guess, dried vegetables. I don't know, it's some sort of seasoning, I would say. Then I got some of these things that I have no idea how they're called, but one of them is like the vegetable version and the second one is the chicken version. And you, it's like, it's some sort of a jelly that you put in water and you can make soup out of it, but you don't really make soup like, uh, I don't know, you don't make to eat soup, but you put this in like other dishes with other food so that it tastes better. Or when you need like, soup <laughs> i don't know how to explain this but when you need soup when you like cook other things this is what you use so that you don't have to make soup from scratch i guess that's my best explanation i'm sorry if you don't get it <laughs> um but yeah that's pretty much it um like this is everything i got apart from like toothpaste and toothbrush which i threw away when i left um when i was like moving uh back in england so yeah, this is pretty much everything I got. I, oh my god, I just remembered I forgot to pick something up. I forgot to pick up some Lena because I like to cook it and eat it with um, cocoa powder. It tastes so good. Okay, let me just check if we have some at home so that I can take a pack. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay, oh yeah, I think we do. Yeah. So this is also another thing I'm taking with me. My sister probably doesn't allow me to film her face, I guess. <laughs> but um, I don't know when she came home last night. When did she come home? She went to a concert so and then to her. a club. And I think she's very hungover, right? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so how was the party yesterday? Um, cold. Cold? Oh yeah, it was outside, right? No way, I'm staying home tonight. <laughs> really? Mm. You're actually staying home for the New, Year Eve, New Year's Eve? Ooh, that's the first one. We're actually staying home for New Year's Eve. Um, we are not going anywhere. I think our family friends will be coming over. Um, the ones we went to Bali with. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think it should be fun. Um, and um, oh yeah, I'm actually working all afternoon uh, because I have some ladies coming over to do their makeup because I'm a makeup artist if you don't know this and yeah, makeup artists work on New Year's Eve. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. My sister just bailed on me. She's going to um, her friend's house. She won't be home for the New Year's Eve. You sneaky, sneaky little bastard. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning my makeup brushes um, in my like, beauty room because I'll be doing, um, like I told you, some makeup today. And I'm actually using pure alcohol, 99% alcohol to clean up uh, my brushes just because it removes all the spots 
and like all the dirt and also disinfect them so if you're looking for a great like spot cleaner alcohol is your best friend but it's really difficult to get i don't know how it is in other countries but in my country you can get it at all unless you know like someone who works at the hospital <laughs> that can like bring it to you so i don't know i hope they have some in england because i really need it um because i can't really take this with me to um, London and I almost ran out of it anyways so I hope I can find it somewhere if you know where I could get it please let me know I finished doing makeup I ate uh, dinner with my family and now I'm just chilling in my room waiting for the clock to strike midnight uh, but yeah really I'm actually watching YouTube videos our family friends are supposed to be coming over about now so probably gonna go downstairs again and then my dad will be I don't know he bought some fireworks so I guess we'll be doing that it, yeah I'm not doing much on New Year's Eve like I never really do anything special I'm usually just bored up in my room <laughs> or up downstairs in front of the TV so yeah that's what's happening in Sandraland right now I'm so cool <laughs> It is 2015. I can't believe how time flies, but um, yeah, I would just like to say Happy New Year to everyone and thank you for all the support in 2014. I hope you'll stay around in 2015 as well, but um, yeah, sorry about this as well because I just washed my hair. Um, but yeah, today is actually the 2nd of January. I haven't vlogged yesterday because well, I pretty much slept through half of the day. I went to bed at like 5 a.m. on the 1st of January, on the New Year's Eve. And then I woke up at about 11. And I actually woke myself up because I'm just the most clumsiest person in the whole wide world, even when I sleep, apparently. I had a glass of water on my nightstand, as I usually do when I go to bed, because, you know, just in case I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm thirsty, and I have a whole bunch of pillows on my bed and apparently I pushed one of the pillows onto my nightstand and the glass fell onto the ground directly on my laptop which was, you know, just chilling in there beside my bed. You get the idea. So yeah, that happened and of course the glass was full of water. So I had a very interesting um, 1st of January wake-up call. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that was not fun, uh, but thankfully my laptop works. Yeah, I haven't really vlogged yesterday because um, I was just... What was I doing, actually? Oh, I was reading a book because I really wanted to finish it before I go back to London. Because, I mean, there's no point in me taking it back with me because it's really heavy and I pretty much read all of it. This is actually the book I was reading. It's called Daughter and it's written by Jane Shem Shemilt. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was okay. At first I found it a little bit boring and uneventful, but then when you reach like the, I would say the last third of the book, um, it gets really interesting and there's more action and some plot twists and yeah, it was fine. I was just, I don't know, I was just chilling and I was um, in the evening or at night because I was writing it until like 2 a.m. I was writing up my CV and I still haven't finished it. Not that I did so many things in my life, you know, but writing CVs is tricky. Um, so yeah, I did that and I still have like one section to complete. Some, I don't know, I, it would be great if I could do it today. Uh, but yeah, today, what are the plans for today? We're going, I'm to get ready now because we're going to lunch with our, our family friends. Um, and then I have to visit a whole bunch of relatives of mine to say Happy New Year and goodbye because I'm actually leaving back to London tomorrow. I feel like I just arrived back home and I already have to go back. I wouldn't mind staying here for like another week, I would say, because I feel like, I don't know, I didn't like do all the things I wanted to do. I didn't manage to visit like a whole bunch of my friends. Um, so that sucks and I also wouldn't mind getting 
some more sleep <laughs> but you know that's life uh so yeah i'm doing that and then i also have to pack i need to possibly edit this video and upload it because i'll be staying in a hotel for next two days and i'm not sure how the wife is gonna be i read some reviews and yeah they're not very optimistic uh so i have to do that and to pluck my eyebrows because they look horrendous i need to pack i'm not sure if i already said that um, what else do I have to do? Oh, I have some packages to send off. I need to reply to my university because I got um, an invitation for my um, like official um, graduation ceremony and I can't come because it's on the 9th, I think, um, of January and I'm going back tomorrow, which is on the 3rd. Uh, so yeah, I can't go to my graduation, which is, you know, well what can you do um but yeah i need to send them an email so that they'll know i won't be coming and i also need to ask them how i can like pick up my bachelor's degree because i won't be here for a while like i have actually have no idea when i'm coming back um because the last time i went to england in october i already had a ticket for like to go home for um the Christmas break. I don't have any tickets whatsoever and I have no idea when I'm coming back. I don't know if I don't find a job I'll probably come back in April when my lease is up. If I find a job I'll probably won't be home until like I don't know summertime or even like the next Christmas break. I have no idea. So yeah it would be great if someone else can pick up the bachelor's degree for me. Well I don't have anything else to tell you, but my dog wants to tell you something, apparently. I mean, not to you, but... Benji! Psh! Uh, psh! Psh! <laughs> so yeah, I don't have anything else to tell you. I'll just need to... Uh, I just need to get ready now, and um, I'll talk to you... I don't know, either in the evening or in my next vlog. So yeah, see ya!